Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, no doubt today was rather hot for our Sunday. And if you were lucky, you got some relief from the rain. Some storms around and about across the area. I had one shower just south of the metro area about an hour ago or half an hour or so. But things are kind of beginning to get a little more quiet. I have a few showers, a couple of rumors of thunder just off to the north, entering into Wilkinson County, down toward Point Grape Parish as well. And so some of these storms and showers may continue moving southward. An isolated shower chance continues over the next hour or so. But overall activity will begin to diminish the further we go into town. Tonight. And it is rather warm and humid out there for sure. 84 degrees at this hour, but it feels like 93 degrees thanks to a rather tropical humid air mass stuck over the area, also preventing our lows from getting rather low. Our overnight lows this morning were at 81 degrees here in Baton Rouge. That tied the record warmest low from 2023. And tomorrow morning low, I have an 81 degrees as well. That would break the warmest record low and possibly getting close to it as well for your Tuesday morning low. So safe to say, not much relief from the heat even into the overnight hours. Now tomorrow, believe me or not, it might be a touch hotter as well for your Monday afternoon. Highs into about the mid to upper 90s. Would not be surprised if some areas clocked in at 100 degrees as well for the afternoon hours. And again, as rather humid air mass over the area. So factor that humidity in, our heat next value is climbing to about that 110 to 115, maybe up to about 116 to 118 in some areas as well. So again, we have a heat advisory night orange color there for our more northeastern parishes and counties and then a heat warning in effect elsewhere in that pink color including Baton Rouge. So again if you are going to be outside tomorrow working outside make sure to take plenty of breaks into the AC into the shade and of course stay hydrated as well because heat is of course takes a cumulative effect of the further we go on in this week with high heat and forecast. Now there is some rain for tomorrow but likely after we heat we hit those high temperatures in the afternoon likely we're going to be seeing late afternoon shower and storm development along this frontal boundary that's going to be moving off down to the south that's going to help kind of spark some of these showers and storms late tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening before all that will begin to kind of diminish. And we get somewhat dry air behind this front, but it's going to lag until about Tuesday or so, and more so for a northern area, seeing some slightly lower dew points. And that will also help keep our rain chances on Tuesday a little bit more better confined near and south of the I-10 and 12 corridor, the better chance for showers and some storms on Tuesday, which again will be another hot day. But looking ahead toward 4th of July on Thursday, you guessed it, rather hot as well. Highs and the mid to upper 90s heat next showers possibly into that 110 range again, although there will be a chance for some scattered showers and some storms as well. So again, the heat and the humidity, the high heat and humidity will be the main concern over the next several days as we see highs still in the 90s. Heat next values top not near 110 or so. So this heat advisories, heat warnings likely going to continue possibly through the next several days. So 70 forecast can be seeing at least though daily and shower and storm chances as you go through the next seven days, Sydney.